Welcome to Spanos Anctex. So, tonight, uh, I have a new vehicle coming. Uh, I've done the stupid thing of buying it completely sight unseen. Uh, a couple of pictures seller sent me from the internet. Uh, due to lockdown, you just can't go anywhere. And I've been looking for one of these and I really wanted one. Uh, so I'm selling the caddy van and I'm replacing it with this. Uh, it should turn up any minute. So uh, I'll be the first to see it, so will you. Uh, fingers crossed it's, it's not a complete heap. Wait and see. Well, it's here. Uh, literally just pulled off the trailer. I haven't even looked at it in the daylight. It's dark outside. Let's drive it in and see what sort of horrible thing I bought. Watch this space. So, first impressions, it's very dirty. It's come down on a car trailer in the horrible, horrible, salty British roads. Look at that could do with coming off. So she is 80, 81 crossover. So small light model, but with square lights. Life number plate, if you know your Uncle Joe. Original steels. She is in not bad condition for her age. She does have the odd age-related polio, which I knew about, to be honest. Got the old uh, original PSI sticker on it still. All in original paint, which is pretty cool. Still got the reg number on the glass. Let's come around to the back. Look at that bum. Boom. God, it's filthy. Again, hole in the same place. Again, I knew about that. What else have we got? It's about a mile long. Man, it's a big old lump. Apparently the previous guy had a cover on it for so long it sat out in the wind and it's the uh, cover patina the uh, the front. Wowza, check out that roof rack. Amazing. Right, let's have a look inside. Oh, she's locked on that side. Let's go around the other way. Wow. Brown velour interior. That is disgusting. That'll have to be fixed. Oh, let's make a nice beefy noise. In we go. Nice old dash. All the old knobs. Couple of cracks in the dash. Otherwise, inside, it doesn't look too bad. Door cards are blown out on the drivers and passengers. It's not a problem, we can solve that. Let's try a back door. God, minty. That's a shame the front ones are gone. Three points in the back, ideal for the kiddies. And look at the size of that boot. That is the main reason we got this bad boy. It's for a big ass boot. Right. Right, let's pop the hood. Let's pop the hood and have a look inside. I don't know how we pop the hood. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's have a look. 
I must be able to. A knob. Oh, there it is. That's a big Ladoni looking knob. Oh, yeah, that seems to have made a noise. She's a four speed, four on the floor. Old four speed manually. Look at the size of that bonnet. Wowza. There's a lot of space in there, which is a good thing because that's not staying, not for long. I can have my way. Right, let's turn this camera on, you have a good look. Right then, what have we got here? Looks to be a Volvo red block. Now this thing's only supposed to have 50,000 on the clock. So that could be, uh, supposed to be all original. Now I don't know a lot about these cars. I am learning, I'm learning with you. Looks, looks like a new water pump, new oil filter. Someone's given it some love. The guy who bought it off was a Volvo specialist and he did some stuff to it. So it's, had a cam belt at 33,000 miles and it's done 50, so. Here's the old uh, VIN stamp. Confirming what we need to know. There we go. There she is. Right, I've got to give this thing a quick I can't even get this off first. All that salt on there, like I can't, I can't leave it. Okay, I've got all this salt off. I couldn't leave that on there. There was like a thick layer of car killer. Uh, give it a quick go with my uh, poor man's car detailing uh, squirty. Happens to be a uh, old window cleaner. It's very effective for quick, quickly. It doesn't obviously leave any wax on it, but it gets the, the worst of it off. Right, let's turn this round and have a look at this paint, shall we? There it is. It's pretty flat. But I think there's life left in it. So what I'm going to do, definitely not a priority, but I can't help myself. I'm going to give this bonnet a little bit of a mop and uh, just see if we can, we can bring it up a bit. Let's go and get some stuff. Quick tech tips. Tools to try and give this a little mop. I'm just going to cut this paint back and try and take off that top layer of old dead paint. So, got the mop which will get nice and wet, which circles round and sort of just aggravates it. And then you cut some compound. It's a bit like a toothpaste. Uh, it's a really fine liquid sandpaper. Uh, and water, it's good to keep it a little bit wet, stop you burning the paint. And I'm gonna do the old masking tape line jobby, so you can see the difference. I've never actually tried that, I've seen it done before. But we'll see what it does. See if we can actually see a difference. So, uh, Give it a go. This stuff sticks to it. Once it gets on stuff, it's a bit of a bug to get out, a bit like toothpaste. Uh, so try not to splat it everywhere. I'll try not to. Let's do a little bit of corner of this bonnet. A bit of moisture into the sponge. Whoa. Right.
have a look. Paint really is flat. I'm just going to give that a bit another look here on the comparison. Set shiny. Mr. Miyagi on. Waxy, waxy on, waxy off. Well, they were not waxing, they just cut but you know. Same theory. Shiny. Shiny. Ooh, that's looking better. Still, loads of stuff in here. Where's my water? So I'm going to polish this side up too much. I'm going to take the cut compound up. Oh. Moment of truth. that bad boy off. Ooh. Well, there's definitely some difference and that's not like sticky glue on there because that's like a frog tape. God it definitely needs a lot more cutting but I think you can already see there's definitely a bit more shine to be had there. I think I'm going to be doing quite a bit of mopping. Right. That paint is really flat, so I've given it a bit of a go over. I could be here all day doing it. I will do it all a bit nicer, a bit more proper, but now I've cut it all. I uh, even went over it with a bit of 2000 sandpaper just to take that top of dead paint. Anyway, now you've done that, you've revealed the surface of the paint, you do need to seal it again. Uh, so I'm just going to give it a bit of a wax just to protect it. This bonnet that I've done on the tops of these wings, and then when I come back to the whole car, we'll do it all properly. Uh, Stuff I use, Natty's Paste Wax. It's good stuff. Uh, price wise, not too bad. Somebody once recommended it. It doesn't look much, but it's actually like really good stuff. It, uh, I use it on my caddy a lot. It brings it up into a right old gleam. Right, so let's bash some off. <laughs> It's by no means perfect, but it is a damn sight better. It's milky smooth. A few, blem few uh, like blemishes and stuff in it, but uh, that just shows its age. Shows her patina. Just the whole rest of the car to do now. I've still not taken this thing for a drive yet. Should probably... Uh, We'll take it for a drive. Put some fuel in it, take the petrol station. See if it actually works. So there we go. Right, we're in. Motor's running. It's a bit lumpy. Let's go. 
Steering's good. The gearbox is lovely, actually. It's an old four speed by the looks of it, but it feels lovely. Uh, accelerator pedal's a bit funny, it's not like a seesaw. Brakes are ridiculously good. For something of this age, they are ridiculous. Handling. First roundabout. It was a main edge. Uh, not that much body roll, considering it's the size of a barge. That's quite impressive. I think these things are a little bit ahead of their time on uh, suspension. Engine wise, pretty, pretty gutless. It's supposed to have I think, 95 horsepower. I think she's uh, lost a few ponies over the years. Oh, he's going really fast. Open the taps. Oh, 4,000 revs. It's got an amazing. It's got a rev counter that revs to 7k. I think that is very optimistic. <laughs> oh, no ground blob. Otherwise, it's a bit like driving a Mark 1 Golf, really. It's everything square and no power steering. Feels very, uh, yeah. Right, let's go in the overtaking lane. Power down. Yeah, not much happening there. Apart from your phone falling over. Oh, that must be the, the G-Force. That rainbow. Wow, that? That's a beauty rainbow. Anchors on. Brakes are good, man. Oh, I really need some sort of in-car filming device. Around the corner. Oh, you're down again.